Fountain Pen Day review. Today's review is going to be of the Montegrappa DC Comics Originals. This is the Heroes and Villains collection. And inside of this beautiful box, uh, you'll see it says Montegrappa. Very nice and soft to the touch. Beautiful interior. Uh, and the exterior I'll show you is all about superheroes. All around. Underneath. <clears throat> All sides. Very nice, sturdy box. Makes a great, great presentation. It really does. Um, the pen we'll get to in a moment. Underneath, you'll find uh, this is what your converter will come in. And then there's a booklet, which is actually a booklet worth reading. It, uh, Montegrappa did a very good job of not just telling you about um, Montegrappa themselves, but about each villain and each character, or superhero, sorry, uh, that the uh, pens are modeled after um, th throughout. Very nice, it's done in Italian and English. I'll give you a quick example. Uh, as you can see here, I mean, it just it tells you the history of the character itself. So they spent some time going through, this one is of Wonder Woman, um, but it, it, it's nice to see. You know, they, uh, they really did a a good job of, of research. They didn't just put a, uh, a name on a pen and say, here, this is a Superman pen. Have a nice day and buy it. Um, okay. So this pen is, or all the pens, I'm sorry, they are solid brass, lacquer finished, and each one in the fountain pen comes with a steel nib. The nibs are in medium only, but they also make a capped roller ball as well as a twist ballpoint pen. The Superheroes are Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Green Lantern. And the four villains are actually they're the nemesis of Batman, and that will be the Joker, the Penguin, Catwoman, and the Riddler. So you can kind of pick and choose, you know, which character best suits you at this point in your life, depending on who you are. Um, one thing to remember uh, as I go forward and we get to the pricing and things like that that you know they they obviously spent a lot of money because these are produced under the license of warner brothers on behalf of dc comics so there's a lot that goes into it and with the another recent release of pens modeled after um, movies and 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 so forth um, i know star wars pens came out you'll see the pricing on those are heavy as well but let's get to the pen and i'll give you my thoughts later on uh, let's start with the cap you can see the Superman logo really nicely done. I mean, that's that's fantastic the way that they did it. And I'll darken this just a little bit, and you can see how it really it really stands out. And it really, when it sticks out of your pocket, it says Superman, and it's all about Superman. The clip, you can see the impression of Superman actually in flight, very nicely done. And you have a red band that goes around above whoops, above the ring where it says Montegrappa, Italia. Turning it on the back, it says TMDC Comics. And then you go through the rest of the body. And you can see how much the, uh, how, how nice and, and deep and rich the, uh, the blue lacquer is. It really punches through. And then you just have a straight uh, flat brass bottom so overall it gives a very nice presentation it's got some weight to it it's got some feel to it you know you've got you know a pen that wasn't uh made by bic that's for sure you know they spent a considerable amount of time designing these and making them obvious that it is each its own individual character whether it's superman or wonder woman or the green lantern uh, it is a screw cap we'll go to the cap Inside the cap is actually, it's aligned, so that if you choose to post it, it won't scratch this lacquer finish. And that was smart, too, because this will, will scratch if you're not careful and cautious with it. So you can still post it if you like, even though it makes it a little bit, it's definitely top-heavy. But it looks great, <laughs> and that's really what, uh, what counts after the writing, of course. All right. Nib, very nicely done. Imprinted DC Comics. And 
Monte Grappa Italia. But very, very pretty. A metal section, which usually I'm not a fan of. I stay away from them. But this one actually is not slippery. For whatever reason, maybe because it's brass, I don't know. It just, uh, but it is grippy. You also have the red section right here. Red band, I'm sorry. And the step is really not noticeable. I mean, it's nice. It's comfortable. You do feel it. I mean, it's noticeable to a point, but it's not sharp in any way, shape, or form. Moving on. You unscrew to get to, and I already inked it, sorry. Um, it is a Monte Grappa branded converter. Now, what's nice about this, and I love when companies do this, is, oh, I'll do it, it screws in. It's, a, it, it's not just a threaded converter, but it actually threads in, so you know that it's in and it's not going anywhere. Just a nice detail when they do that. So overall, really pretty pen, and I'll say this, retail on these, retail is $475 for this pen. This is for a collector. Um, this is for somebody who has all grown up, is a fan of DC Comics their whole life, and you know what? You've decided you can spend a little bit of money to get an officially licensed product that is not, you know, it, it, it's definitely well done. You know, they did a great job, and if you price point it to some of the other pens that are out there based on movies, you'll see that they're really not out of line at all. And uh, we'll do a writing sample next, which is actually very smooth. It's very nice, and uh, it's a good writer. So we'll get to that right now. Okay, we're back. Uh, we'll put some Monte Grappa ink in, which is nice. Very nice bottle. Very well done. Interesting. I never had a bottle of this before, but I do like it. It's pretty nice. And we'll use the uh, official Monte Grappa writing pad. So, again, you can post this pen safely. No problem. No issue. It sits really nice. And let's see how it does. All right. So, this is... Monte Grappa DC Comics. Uh, the nib is wet and almost stubbish like for a medium because the lines you'll see one way and they do run heavier. And I'm not putting extra pressure on really, it's just how it is. If you add a little, It'll give you just a little bit. I mean, it's a steel nib. It's really not for flexing at all. It's really just for everyday writing. Um, I'm going to unpost it. And even with my large hands, you know what? It's you can you can post this pretty well. Let me move this up and back a little bit. But it sits it sits well. You know, it's very comfortable, and uh, I like how it looks a lot. I really do. I think uh, again, I, I really credit Monte Grappa for going all out and making these pens. You know, true to the character of, of each one. I mean, this really, I mean, you feel like you're writing with a Superman pen. There's no doubt about it. And that's, you know, again, that, that's what that this pen is all about. You know, is giving you that, that experience. So, I'll continue writing. Um, I haven't had any skipping issues. And obviously a little wet because I smeared right here. I put my hand in the ink, so. Nice. Very nice. And, uh, I mean, you may hear a little, a little bit of uh, scratchy, but that's just the feedback um, from the pen itself. It really, it really does write nice. It's smooth. I mean, you pick it up and you want to do your signature. It's well, well done. Very easy. So. At this point, I'll uh, give you a couple of close-ups. I'll have some pictures at the end. Uh, I'll put a link below to Kenro Industries, who is the U.S. importer of Monte Grappa, who was kind enough to lend me this pen for review, because it's not mine. Um, and I really do appreciate that. They've shown a lot of support to Fountain Pen Day, and they've given us a lot of things to, to give away throughout the uh, last few years. 
So thank you again to Kenro and especially to Monte Grappa for, uh, you know what, for doing a good job and really honoring DC Comics and the superheroes and villains by uh, putting this collection together. Like I said, if you're all grown up and you want something that, that speaks true to your childhood, uh, this pen just might do it. Thanks, and have a great day. Mm.